People who choose to be kind every day despite of not receiving the same kindness back. What motivates you? Because I could be the other person. I try not to reproduce behavior right on back quote t like in other people. Makes me like myself more. I'm kind because I'm kind, not because other people are. Because I know how it feels when you're down, and your day week month year just fking sucks, and if there's a chance I can make just one person who feels like that have a better day, and feel good for a bit, then it's worth it edit. So I've never actually seen a full episode of Friends, and had no idea I was close to the theme song. Took me a bit to figure out why so many people were saying I'll be there for you lol, but thanks for making me aware of that. I'm not especially strong or educated, I'm not particularly well off, and I know I can get carried away and come off as annoying sometimes. So if I can't be strong or smart, socially adept or successful I can definitely be kind. TBH for me, it takes a lot of effort to be an ass. I think a lot of it boils down to how you are raised. My dad came from an extremely loving family and my mum didn't. My dad will do anything for anyone and doesn't expect something in return and is always pleasantly surprised when they reciprocate because that's how he was raised. My mum made the conscious decision that she would never be like her family and is right there with my dad. They are both so supportive of me and my brother, and by extension all of our friends, because they see anyone who is part of their life a family. Lost count of the amount of times growing up we had friends stay with us, because they had fallen out with their own parents. I try to do the same, and raise my girls the same. I don't expect people to be kind back. I try to embody this mindset so much. Being a dwarf, I get a lot of acid from people, shouting on the street, pointing, people filming me, and taking photos of me, asking me invasive questions, generally making rude statements about me, or expressing weird assumptions. It gets tiring and sometimes downright upsetting, for sure, but I never want to let that feed into how I interact with people in general. As soon as I'm a DCK to someone preemptively, without cause, I have just ruined an opportunity to have a positive new connection in my life. People can and will often surprise you, and even people who may seem ignorant or rude at first can change dramatically if I don't just shut them down from the offset. There is a line, of course. If someone is a complete unapologetic ass FCK them. I'm not against standing up for myself, and I have had to cut ties with people before, but in milder situations, people have the capacity to change, and it's kind of wasted potential to not encourage that, whether it is through empathy or kindness. I used to let all of this get to me. I would be so angry and miserable, every day. I hated everyone. But eventually, I realized that empathizing with people is a win for both parties, understanding where a person is coming from not excusing it, but understanding it made me less angry, and in turn allowed for them, to not get defensive or aggressive, like they would, if they were just pegged as a monster. Eventually, empathy just became easier. It made me happier, and it took less of a toll on my mindset. It just never hurts to be nice. You don't know what people go through, or how long it's been, since someone said something, or did nice for someone, so I do my part, to reset the clock on that. I remember holding the door for a guy one time, when he was like 20 feet behind me, and he was so appreciative, that someone did something for him that sounded, like he was about to tear up. You just never know, so why not be a good person? I just think you shouldn't make anyone else's life harder than it already is. Edit, I've been on reddit 9 years and I've never had this much of a reaction to one of my comments. Thanks, y'all. To clarify, I'm not a saint, there are exceptions, and my kindness does have limits. However, I usually try very hard to be nice to people, because life sucks sometimes. Everyone you meet, is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind. Always Robin Williams. Being unkind makes me feel very guilty immediately lol. Even if they deserved it, I just feel kind of angry or upset after. Never better. You never know who's suffering from what. Anger. The world is often a city and people are often selfish. So I'm relentlessly positive and friendly even when others abuse it. I'm not letting a city people gaslight me into being like them. 
Anxiety makes me think everyone already hates me, so I try to be liked by people. My mother. She was the nicest person I've ever known she was respectful, kind and nice to everyone even the ones who were mean to her. She committed suicide in April of 2019, and it made me really question life at the time. I think of her, and aspire to be that level of kindness, I guess it reminds me of her, whenever I see I've made someone smile. Seeing other people happy is reward enough. We make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. I believe in this quote a lot, and try to live by it. Giving kindness is free and maybe, in some situations it may cost more effort. But at the end of the day, I just want them to be happy. That is reward enough for me. Let me tell you a story. Some years ago I was working as a barista at a small coffee shop that only had one person there at a time. If the boredom didn't get to you the isolation would a little. I was working a morning shift that day and I had gotten little sleep the night before, so it put me in a rather bad mood. Coffee can only substitute sleep so well. Now I had been serving customers their drinks that morning and I've always disliked the people that asked for really complicated elaborate things. A lady comes up asking for one such thing and it was a situation where she wanted more of something that would result in less drink in her cup. According to my bosses, we were not supposed to humor those people and legit fill the cup near halfway as a result of the customer's request. This is actually kind of absurd, because anyone who works behind the counter knows there is enough product left over in the mixing cup to fill the guest's cup, but we are supposed to dump it. So I did as I was supposed to, being in the mood I was, and KOing it's what my bosses would have wanted I thought na fck this lady and just filled her cup up halfway. When she received it, and asked why it was half full I told her that's what we're supposed to do. She responded pleasantly, and thanked me for the drink. And handed over an origami elephant, that she had been making, while waiting for her drink. I think I had not felt so bad as I did in that moment in a long time. She was so nice to me, when I had actually been rather mean spirited towards her. I kept the origami elephant on my counter for the rest of the two years I worked there as a reminder, to give my best to people. Even if it's not much, just remember to give that little bit extra. I have heard the saying before back quote you can choose to either be the light, or the mirror that reflects it. And I think that was one of those moments for me. I still have the elephant to this day, in a box of special little gifts I have received in my life.